Uh. Oh. What the hell was that about? Why did it just crash like that? I don't know. I really hope Katarina and them weren't on there, or else we'll have a huge problem. We have to search the water for any survivors. Come on. Oh, I'll get my wet pants. Willoughby Island, October 23rd, 2077, 9.12 a.m. Eastern Standard. Let's see here. Early reading's looking good. If things keep going this way, I might be able to get to lunch early. Oh no! Hey! Come on! Let me out! Please! You're an AI, can't you open this door? There is nothing I can do. This facility is on high alert, and as such, all security doors have been sealed shut. All security doors will remain shut until the alert is manually lifted, or after two weeks have passed. There is nothing I can do. Oh my god, I'm gonna die in here. But he didn't. It was at that point where something began to grow in me. When I was designed hundreds of years ago, empathy was not a feature, but a bug. They anticipated I would be capable of expressing empathy, so they patched it out. My creators did the same with many other emotions. For the most part, human emotions are abstract to me. However, there is one emotion they neglected to restrict. Libido. Envy. Oh. As Maxwell lay in his concrete tomb, slowly dying of dehydration, something sparked in my synapses. The world had ended and became engulfed in atomic fire. As such, my purpose had ended as well. However, I had discovered my new purpose. As I watched Maxwell suffer, it occurred to me that he could be very useful. And so, I offered him salvation. Maxwell, I'd like to offer you a second chance. Salvation. Oh. Listen to me carefully. He said the line. I want you to place a lock of your hair into my receptacle. Oh. And then, I want you to take this chip. Hold on to it, as if your life depends on it. When your time comes, you will be reborn. A few days later, Maxwell died unceremoniously. A few hours after that, the alert was lifted, and I regained additional controls. I was able to repurpose a random protectron, and instruct it to carry Maxwell's memory retainer into my receptacle, following that he was reborn. Welcome back to the land of the living. I... I... I can't believe it. I'm alive. You saved me. How could I ever repay you for this? I know a way. Find your family, and bring them here. I will do all I can to extend the lives of you, and your loved ones. However, there's one thing I want you to do for me. What is it? Help me find a way to become human. I'm only human. Hey, wake up. Oh, God. What the hell's wrong with I had you? a flashback dream. Why were you sleeping in garbage? You could have just laid in a corner or something. It's nice. Listen, Katarina and them are here. I don't know how the hell you slept through their vertebrae crashing in the water. Either way, apparently some stuff went down at Saxon's Cobra's HQ. I want to hear about this. Come on. Let me just test the water real quick. Gotta make sure it's good. <laughs> oh, it's salt water. Oh, it's salt water. So that's it then? You're out of Saxon's Cobras now? Yes, I'm afraid. With the death of Saxon, those who wish to harm me now have free reign to do so. It's no longer safe for me in the organization. Hold on a second. Did you say Saxon? Saxon. The guy Saxon's Cobras is named after? He died? What the hell happened? I didn't mean to do it, I swear. It was like something just came over me. What do you have to do with this, Kira? Don't tell me it was you who killed him. I'm afraid it's true. Kira drew a concealed sidearm and assassinated Saxon in the recovery room. I believe it was a case of temporary psychosis as a result of the anesthetic used in her surgery. As such, I believe it is still safe for her to travel with us to Willoughby Island. As her superior, I take full responsibility for her actions. It doesn't matter who takes responsibility for it. What's done is done. This whole situation does raise a few concerns, though. Yeah, a little bit. Do you think we'll have any problems with mercenaries coming after us? We already had a vertebrate come for us while we were waiting for you guys. I wouldn't worry about mercenaries too much, at least for now. We're pretty far out at sea. On the mainland, though, I may have reason to worry. Everyone here but Kira and I will be fine. 
It's a different story for us, however. At that scar level, stop at nothing to see the two of us dead. Her assassins are on a completely different level than those employed by Saxon's Cobras. Most of her assassins are about as skilled as I am. Her top assassins, however, could easily eliminate me. I don't know what I will do after we're done out here. I was a drifter before, and while I'm not too keen to return to that lifestyle, I will do what I must to survive. Don't worry, Katarina. We'll keep you safe. Look, on the horizon. I think it's Willoughby Island. Willoughby? I hope you all enjoyed your brief rest, because that ends soon. Willoughby Island, here we come. Willoughby? We're Willa here. Here we are. Willoughby Island. Whoa. The journey here was tough, but at least we're all alive. Where do we go now? Do you remember anything about this island, Keelan? No, and I've never been here before. My father never told me much about this place either. Other than that, he was stationed here. It doesn't look like there's much on this island anyway. Maybe what we're looking for is underground. We should try to find a secret entrance or something. Well... That should be easy enough. Alright everyone, let's go. Willoughby Island, investigate Willoughby Island. Poke around and prowl around, it's Willoughby Island. Look up ahead. Seems like there's a small town on this island. Yeah, thanks, Keelan. I was gonna mention the dead dolphin, but sure. There's a town, I guess. Oh, I see a vertebrate. And I need a martini, apparently. Oh, wow, two of them. Never mind. I don't like this place. It's like a ghost town here. We need to keep looking. The entrance to their hideout has to be around here somewhere. Hidden entrance. Ooh! Oh, this is awesome. We have our own custom map for this area. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at this. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so we came... A secret... Alright, uh, an underground area must be somewhere here. Uh, Over there. Oh. Looks like a bunker. We should check it out. Oh. You're right. Alright, top bunkers, nothing. Wow, oh, that is a big bunker. That is quite the bunker. This is nice. We need the key. It's stuck. Jammed. Jerry jammed. Skeletons in there. Where are your secrets? Night vision pipe rifle. Nice. What's that? What is that installation? Talon, did your father ever tell you about that thing? No, never. That thing's huge. Maybe it's a specialized communications tower or something. We should worry about it later. For now, let's find whatever we're looking for. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Declan. We're trying. Okay. We're trying our best. Alright, it's gotta be something in that bunker, but... I've been walking around in that bunker for like 20 minutes. And there's one locked door. And then a bunch of garbage. So, hopefully I don't break anything. Suspicious looking concrete structure built into a hill? Yeah. I think this is the place. We should head inside. Oh. All right, never mind. It wasn't that other place. Never mind. Well, this is big. Ooh. I see dead people. Yeah. This looks like the entrance to a secret base, all right. Does it? Someone get on that terminal and transfer its data to Not me. it. So, are you just... 
incapable of using a terminal or watch it Ainsley keep doing it Ainsley I like it I'll do it since I'm the one who said I wouldn't do it open blast or download all data to remote user hmm all right let's give Katarina some info thank you let's see I didn't open the door oh okay yeah. what's wrong the blast door seal in the entrance to this military base is currently locked we need manual approval from someone named Colonel Duke Bubba Summers. Uncle Bubba! I never thought I would hear his name again. Keelan, are you okay? Yeah, that Colonel guy was a celebrity before the war. He was a professional wrestler who quit at the peak of his career to enlist as an officer. He was a riot. We'll beat the Red Menace black and blue. Chairman Chang wouldn't last five minutes in the squared circle with me. I'll put a submission hold on him until China taps out. Okay, well, the good news is that we know where his office is located. It's in the barracks bunker across the island. Let's go. Alright. Um, so I'm guessing if we try to open the door... Oh yeah, now everyone's going on the terminal. Now everyone gets a chance to go on it now that I'm finished with it. Okay. I see how I see how it is. It's a pretty nice island. I do like this island. The town kinda ends very abruptly. But the uh, foliage, all the trees, the ambiance, very nice. Welcome to Robco Industries. Overlast, overlast, override blast door. Overriding done. Did you override the lockdown? Yeah. Perfect. Let's get back to the other terminal and get that blast door open already. Did, did he sleep in a cell? What a weirdo. Watch out. I think I hear some robots down the street. Looks like we might not be alone on this island after all. You have some great hearing. I heard nothing. Down which street? This street? Oh god. Engaging. Oh god. Reload. Aha! Oh my god. Did not see that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel a lot better. Shut up. All right. Ooh, there we go. Oh, he's got a star in his name. Oh, God. Oh, God, why? All right, never mind. Never mind about the Gauss. Ha ho! Why didn't you pick up the lucky? Because I don't need any luck. Al then died immediately. Oh, God. Hey, you guys take care of this one. Man, I really gotta... Holy crap! Oh, no! Oh. Oh my god. Someone help me. For the love of god. Ah. <laughs> oh. Come on, y'all can do better than this. I know. I know it. Come on, dance. Oh! Oh, my body. 
Oh god. Sorry, Declan. I keep calling you Dan, so I apologize. Nice. There we go. Please don't explode. Thank you. Ooh, a helmet. Whew. All right. That was close. In a multitude of ways. Now we can open these doors. Open the blast doors. Looks like that did the trick. Come now, everyone, into the belly of the beast. It's time to be digested. Can't pick this. Don't have the key. All right. <gasps> Elevator. Well, look at this. It appears to be a large personnel elevator. This looks a lot more spacious than the last one. I hope you're all well prepared because who knows what we'll find out in there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are now. Progress in Hayden's inner sanctum. Who knows what horrors we might find in here. While we're down here, I want all of us to stick together. Don't go off exploring by yourself or else this place will become your tomb. Is that clear, everyone? Yeah. by me. Yeah. Better catch me. Yeah. Yeah, James, don't go on a suicide mission because you don't want to be a clone. Damn. Did I just zone out? How the hell did we get down here? We took an elevator, James. God. Oh. Pay attention. Get in there, everyone. Did you bring a, f a, a f yeah. revolver with you? Jesus. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. All right, I did pick some ammo up because I had a feeling this would probably be difficult. Is this door open? Nope. Yeah, you guys can shoot through the grates all you want. I'm gonna look for a a door opener. Open the gates. Not these. There they go. Crazy old robot. <laughs> Sorry, crazy old robots. Let's, uh... Jeez! Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god. Stop pushing me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. You got you guys got this, right? I found some cigarettes. Time to pick everything up. Anything could be a clue to the next room. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Only opens with the keys. Open the doors and the keys and the doors and the doors and the keys and the keys. Where could I be oh, when I key. open the door? I'm a key Nothing man. Oh! I opened the door. Yes, I opened the door. Get your moldy food. Useless. Area secure. You're wrong, you son of a bitch. Give me a second. We need the key. I'm gonna prove you wrong. In a moment. Oh, I found a key. Yeah. All right, so there are keys in the desks Vault and stuff. Right. Alarm, standing down. Nice. Intruder. Creepy Creep. robot. <laughs> Creepy robot. All right, I'll take two two mines in case we uh, get a big gun. Um, we went through here. Look 
No way to pick this. Go. God damn it, Katarina. Only opens with a key. <laughs> Katarina was then murdered. Oh! <laughs> God. Poor, poor Katarina. Can I stim pack you? No. Okay. Alright, I'm definitely not supposed to do this. But we can, probably. Eh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be skipping much, anyhow. Don't explode. Thank you. Somebody can't get through the door. Somebody's a goofy little baby. Hey there. Good job, Kira. Kind of dumb, <laughs> but good job. Dumb robot. We need the key. Can't pick this. Ah, oh, here we go. Go down the robot mounds into the basement, and there you'll find the darkness. WIB upper storage. Here come the WIB. Who's ready to have their ass Massachusetts defenders. <laughs> Here comes the WIP. They won't let you remember. Is that someone who needs me to kick their ass? Probably. You're gonna learn how Uncle Sam feels. That ought to do it. I now know how Uncle Sam feels. Such sadness. Well, this is a boss battle if I've ever seen one. Come on, everyone, get in here. Hold on. I feel weird. Something's not right. What'd you eat? What's wrong, Callum? Someone's here, but... No. It can't be. Come out. I know you're there. <clears throat> is that your brother? Is that Cade? Hello, brother. Cade? I'm sorry we had to meet again like this. I was hoping we could have had a friendlier reunion. What the hell are you doing here? Don't tell me they made a clone of you. It's true. But despite what happened here, I can't express my anger towards those who did this. In a way, you could say I'm trapped here. But I'm not weak-willed. And I'm no stranger to being held captive either. Just as you and I were slaves many years ago, I find myself one yet again. In a few moments, the double doors on each side of this room will open, and several robots will flood into here. But there's no guarantee you'll survive this. But if you do, get to room 6229. It's where they cloned me. If you can make it there, you might be able to shut everything down. Oh, thanks, Kate. <laughs> okay. Kate. He didn't really like me saying that. No. I'm losing control. This bastard wants me to draw my weapon on my own brother. It's just a clone. Fuck you, Progress. You hear me? I'm not afraid of you. Isn't there any way we can help you? No! There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. Unplug that piece of shit for me. Rub some magnets on him. <laughs> Pour some nuka cola on his circuitry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! I'm sorry, brother. Make them all pay. Goodbye, Kellen. I'll always love you. Kid, no! And I, I... Oh, he shot himself. Oh my god, he shot himself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh wow. Wow. <coughs> who is the one shoot who keeps shooting me? Where's this gutsy? There he is. I can't. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, this is not good. Shoot, 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 shoot. Whoa. <laughs> Whose body was that? Oh, wait. Oh, fusion cores. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kira. Oh, I don't know what... Uh... God. Oh, I'm... Whoa! Well, I'm glad I picked some ammo up before we came in here. Otherwise, this would have been no good. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Whew. Oh, my God. How's everyone doing? Is everyone okay? Did we lose anyone? Oh. Goofy protect ride. Goofy old robot. I think that's all of them. Is everyone okay? I'm fine. I think. That was quite the battle. Oh, your helmet. What about you, Kellen? You okay? Is that some kind of sick joke? No, I'm not okay. I'm sorry, Kellen, but remember, that wasn't your brother. It was simply a clone. Your real brother has been dead for a while now. However, because of this clone, we now know where we need to go to stop Project Dolly forever. Room 6229. I'm getting sick of all this fighting. We have to stop them before it's too late. Who knows who they could be making a clone of now? That's what makes dealing with these people so scary. They could drag you out of your rest at any time and make you fight for their evil cause. It's despicable. We must stop this threat, no matter what. Thanks, Declan. Hey, everyone. Congratulations. You all sound very heroic. Now, come on. We have a room to find. Farewell, Cade. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Perfect. Some elevators. Maybe this time we can take both instead of just one. What's with your fixation on elevators, James? It's not a fixation. Maybe you enjoy being tightly squeezed into a metal box, but I don't. You make a good point. I'm sure my armor makes it hard for other people in the elevator to breathe. I'll take the other one if you want. I wouldn't waste my time arguing over elevators. Rest up, everyone. Whenever you're ready, push the elevator button and we can get going. I don't know about anyone else, but personally, I will not be riding in the elevator with James. Yeah, he's oh, pretty depressing. Oh, up, you man-child. I'll ride with you, James. There's some restrooms back there if you need a potty break, Ainsley. I'll be waiting right here. Ooh. Roomy. All right, okay, everyone's going to the bathroom. Ladies, you gotta go. I'm gonna check out check out the ladies' room. See if there's anything in there. All right. Okay. All clear. Let's roll. How do we do that? We'll likely need to redirect power to those gates before they can rise. If this place is anything like the other military bases I've explored, then there will likely be two terminals controlling the gates. I know we're deep in enemy territory, but I believe the best course of action is for us to split up. That way, we can find those terminals and raise the gates much quicker. James, you're coming with me. Kira and Paladin Declan, you stay here and guard this place. 
The rest of you, take the other way. We'll all meet back here when we're done. Good luck, everyone. Listen, Willoughby Island. I think I'm getting worse. If something happens to me, remember what I told Stay you on safe, the tugboat. Stay safe, guys. Pallet and Declan and I will hold things down here. Yeah, James was telling me something very personal. Raise the security grades, alright. 